It's billed as one of the largest pieces of artwork of its kind, and it is right in our own backyard. It was a work in progress when we first showed it to you. Now this huge undertaking is complete and on display for everyone to see at RIT. When we last saw glass artist Nancy Gong in March, she was in work boots and a hard hat, hard at work. Two inches from the top. Putting the finishing touches on this curved wall of glass inside RIT's new administrative services building. Now, three months later, it's completed and ready for the world to see. Gong has a lot of her work on public display, and she considers all of them her children. I've gone over every inch of these pieces of glass several times, more than several times, so I know every little area very, very well. This new kit on the block is huge, 54 feet wide, 10 feet high, 13 panels in all. You can't miss it, and it's getting rave reviews from the people who work here. Breathtaking. The way the light changes during the day, the, the effects of it, it's, it's brilliant. To the students who use this space, RIT Center for Student Innovation. They go right up to it and they start looking at the detail and then they have to touch it. So they want to see what all this texture is all about. Gong calls this piece in art, science and life. What's the question? It does make you think, step back and you'll see everything from the Bose-Einstein wave theory to the binary code. Step a little closer and this etched glass offers other surprises. I've seen Hopi Indians in here. I've seen, I've seen um, trees. It's a piece of artwork that it will endure for such a long time and so many people will be able to enjoy it. And that, to me, as, as, a, as an artist, as a creator, is really what it's all about. It really is beautiful. A formal dedication of this new building and Nancy's artwork scheduled to take place at RIT in the fall. That's really something. Gorgeous.